In this video, I'm going to discuss how to export a CSV file from a SQL, SQLite uh, database and also how to import a CSV file into a table of the SQLite database. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, let's get started right away. So I have a database already, and as you as you might be knowing, SQLite is a very fast uh, uh, file-based database, which is typically used in embedded applications. But it, you can also use it in in general applications as well. It's quite fast and and very performant, and I have found it to be really useful in my applications as well. So you have something called an appointment DB. And uh, for you to do uh, these export import of CSV files, uh, you already see two CSV files there. So I'm going to remove those things because I exported those from the from a table of the SQLite database that you see there, appointment.db. So I'm going to remove those uh, and just so that you will, will generate those fresh. And uh, for you to do this, uh, there are multiple mechanisms you can use. A common uh, a database viewer uh, application uh, and, and open up SQLI database and you can do it from the UI but what I'm going to do is uh, like assuming that you don't have uh, such a uh, development environment or a, or a UI to do that uh, how can you do this thing in the command line so to do that you of course need to install SQLI uh, 3 command line utility and again uh, I already have it, so if you don't have it, please go ahead, go ahead and install it in your operating system uh, from your package managers and so forth. So the usual command line uh, interface uh, program or the uh, you know CLI command that you use is SQLite 3. It may vary, but most likely it's going to be SQLite 3. So you can open up a file-based database that is uh, there. If it's not there, it will create a new one, and then you can go and do various manipulations, such as creating a table, uh, you know, all that, you know, inserting data, all that you can do it from the command line itself. Because I already have a database, I'm just going to open it. Once you do that thing, it's going to show you the version of SQLite and, and all other details. And, of course, as, as it says, if you just type in the help, you will see various things that you can do uh, in uh, uh, SQLite 3. So I'm going to use this schema uh, thing here, show the create statements matching the pattern, or you can, it's it's optional basically, so you can just use the word uh, command schema. As you can see, it will be showing you all the uh, tables with the respective, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, description uh, language, right? So basically your uh, commands or SQL commands that you use to create the tables all that along with the column details are shown here so I'm just gonna select this and show you how we can export uh, this data initially and then we'll delete the file and then uh, let's do an import as well right so to do that so let's first see the contents of this select all from I'm going to uh, choose this, uh, same terms, and as you can see, there are 31 records uh, in this uh, particular uh, table. So now, assuming that you want to export uh, this uh, content or this data into a CSV file, basically, you will have two columns in that then, right? Comma separated, uh, two columns, and one uh, can be the ID and other one uh, is let's say symptoms so to do that thing uh, what you can do is basically you have to let, uh, you, like in your CSV let's say if you want this data in addition to that if you also want headers like let's say in the in your first row you might want to have something called ID and in the second uh, column you might want to have something called symptoms and then you go on like one two three uh, line by line in your CSV file so if that is the case you will be uh, you will require to say headers on and uh, uh, so those details uh, will also be uh, you know you can see here headers or not turn display of headers on or off so that's basically 
even uh, let's say if you just go and do this thing here uh, it's going to show the headers here ID and symptoms as you can see so that's not related to my export operation but uh, you know it's you no know, even if I do the export that's going to get included that's what it means and then uh, to do a CSV thing so I need to change my mood to CSV that's uh, also something there here um, you can say mood, set out, set output mood. You need to see what are the other available moods uh, in the documentation of SQLite. I'll leave that as an exercise for you. So for the time being, the mood CSV. So then uh, what I can uh, do is simply say output. Where do you want the output to be? Uh, I'm going to say this thing as symptoms.csv and then my uh, only requirement to have is to write the select statement and now the output is not going to come in my uh, console here you're, you're not going to see it in the std out the output is going to be redirected to the csv file so that's what it means and the mode is csv as well so select id comma and you see uh, i have uh, ID and symptoms so you know, make sure that you type it right symptoms from this so once you do this thing and uh, the output file should already be there so let's go and see that so I'm going to open this up in a new uh, tab as you can see the, the file is there. So I, I'm going to open it up in the symptoms.csv and as you expect it is there. Right? So now how do we import such a uh, you know file into let's say a table. Right? How do we do that? So let's uh, maybe get rid of the all, all the data that we have in the symptoms. Uh, symptoms table, health symptoms table, and import this data. In such a case, you have to, uh, you know, get rid of this first column because the that is not actually part of the data. So it, uh, to do that, I'm going to remove that now. So I just showed you that you can also include it. Maybe I just uh, remove it now. And uh, going back, so from uh, this mode, you can also quit and then come back if you want to. And uh, now uh, I want to delete all the data. So let's do delete from health symptoms. So if you just do that and then go back, you don't find any data there. So now you want to import this. How can we import this? Importing is also, uh, it, it follows the same steps and uh, let's say I need to convert this to the mood CSV once again. And in this case, you're going to use dot import. And like here you have dot output, here you use dot import. And now you have to say where, the, where your CSV file is. You have to give the full path to your CSV file. So I'm going to use my full path here with symptoms dot CSV, so let's use that. And then you had to say what's your table is. So my table is this. And uh, I don't need to uh, put a semicolon or anything uh, on the last line. So let's do that. If you don't have any errors, you shouldn't uh, say anything in your output std out if there are any errors you will see those things and then you'll have to uh, make sure that you rectify those things and run this command once again and uh, yeah so i'm gonna uh, quit uh this again oh all uh, right actually i should be uh utilizing uh this one as you can see previously we deleted this now you can see it's back your data is there so likewise, importing and exporting uh, CSV files uh, into and out from uh, an SQLite database is very easy. And uh, this make, 
come very handy in terms of uh, loading data into your database tables and so forth and exporting data uh, as a backup maybe uh, especially when you have textual data uh, those data can be uh, very useful for you to keep a backup uh, from your SQLite database. I hope this uh, short video uh, has been uh, useful for you and uh, I hope to see you in, a, in another video very soon. Thank you very much.